Say you run an online fashion store selling clothes on your website. You have lots of images, but what if you also had product videos to talk about your designs? Now, most people are going to search up HeyGen, one of the most popular AI video generation platforms right now. But turns out you don't actually need HeyGen at all because to create product videos with AI avatars, all you need are some simple tools. In this video, we'll show you how to use Seadance and this NEN workflow to turn still images from any fashion e-commerce store into talking product wow. videos like this. Hey everyone. I just wanted to share this cozy Amsterdam jacket I'm loving right now. Easier than ever and cheaper than using HeyGen? Let me show you how it's done. This is AI Agents A to Z. To get started, download the workflow from the description below. Click on import from file, select the file and wait until it loads. Now let's start configuring it. First, you need to select an LLM chat model. Make sure you select one that is multimodal. I recommend using either GPT 4.1 mini or GPT 4.1. Next, we need to edit all the file.ai nodes. After opening it, create a new header auth, or if you already have one, select it. And inside, make sure you add key, space, and your API key that comes from file.ai. You should repeat this step for all the file.ai nodes. That's it. Let me explain how the workflow works. We are using the publicly available JSON API for the Shopify store. Please note that some stores disable this feature. In the setup defaults node, we set up the maximum amount of pages we can scrape. We also set up the maximum amount of products that we can match with a search term. We are running the pagination loop until we either exceed the number of pages we can scrape or we have the 50 products that we are looking for. Once we have that, we let the user to select the product that they want to create the video from. We convert the HTML description of the product into Markdown and we close the form. Next, we need to select some images. Please note that this part of the workflow might overwhelm you if you are not technical. First, we check if we have any images and if we don't, we are erroring out. Inside the loop, we set up some variables that we are going to pass forward, namely images and the selected images. We are making sure we are dealing with a large image that is larger than 200 pixels in width. We are using a multimodal LLM to make sure there are no large texts on the image. Then we update the loop variables and we check if we reached any limit. Here we check for three things. First. We want to make sure we have images left for processing. We are also making a distinction for PNG images and JPEGs or other image types. If the images are PNGs, we only want to select two. The Flux Context API restricts the amount of bytes we can send to them. If it's not a PNG, we are allowing four images. Once we exit the loop, we check if we have any images that we can use. If not, we are erroring out. Otherwise, we download the image, we resize it to a smaller size, we convert it to base64, then we set the base64 data that we can send to the Flux Context API. In the next step, we generate the prompts and the dialog. So far, this prompt gave us the best results. We are also asking the LLM to judge the sex of the person on the attached image. We are using this structured output parser to parse the data coming from the LLM. The next step is to generate the image. You can see we are sending the base64 images with the prompt that was generated previously. We are using the max model from Flux Context. Once the image is ready, we are moving to the next step. Here, we are using the light version of CDEN's image to video model. We are using the previously generated image URL as a starter image, as well as the end image. This way, we make sure that we can loop the whole video. This is going to be important later. We are sending the video generation prompt that was generated previously. We are using a lower resolution and the duration of five seconds. Once the video is ready, we generate the speech. In this node, 
We set the voice based on the sex of the character for the 11 laps text-to-speech model. We are sending the generated dialogue. Once the voice is ready, we start to generate the lip sync. We are using the latent sync from ByteDance. This model allows us to sync the generated audio with the previously generated video. It is also going to extend the length of our video, since Cdance generated a video that can be looped. You can set the loop mode to ping pong or loop. Ping pong means it's going to play the video in reverse once the end is reached. Once the lip sync video is completed, we can download the video and we are done. Let's test the workflow. I'm going to use this fashion brand from Shopify. Let's put in the site URL and search for a dress. Now I have a list of dresses and I can make my choice and hit submit. Let it run. It could take up to five minutes to generate this video, so be patient. Hey, so this dress is such a vibe for summer. It's lightweight, made of soft cotton, and super comfy. I love the red and white checkered pattern. It really feels like a picnic ready look. The U neck adds a nice touch, and the short sleeves are perfect for warm days. Plus, the adjustable waist tie helps cinch it just right making it flattering, but relaxed. It even has two side pockets, which is a total win for carrying small essentials. I can easily see myself twirling around in this one. If you like workflows like this, join our no-code AI community on School, where you have access to different video generation templates, our premium server, workshops, and of course, support. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Is this for the dress?